Hello guys, Uljin here and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Amplified server. I hope you guys are having a terrific day. I'm sitting out here at the bottom of my tower, as you can see way up there, or the the what will be the tower. And I'm trying to measure out the shape that I talked about last episode from the bridge. So this is the original shape of the tower, minus that little thing, just don't mind that. Uh, that was an error. But um, this is the shape of the tower and I've got these little prongs jutting out. And basically what needs to happen is this needs to come out by two and halfway up the distance or a third of the way up the distance we'll, we'll have to measure that out I'm gonna go in by one and then at by the time the next section is going to meet up at that platform at the original size so I'll have to measure that out to make it look like um, I guess supported or it's gonna look more girthy at the bottom than the top so what I'll do is just come around and actually surround all of this by one block, I think. And I think that should be good. Although, let's see. No, this is, yeah, it's going to have to be even all around here. So let's do the outsides first. Figuring this out is always hard because it needs to be, yeah. Let's see, so this is going to be, the outer ring is going to be 5 like this. Then it's going to be 7 on the inside. So, like this. I think that's what I want. Hold on. Yeah, and I still have that outer port, which is actually going to be 3. So, if I take that off, here we go. And now we can actually do 3. Okay, so that's what I'm going to go with. So this is going to be seven this is going to be five and three and that's how I'm gonna measure it out I think that's gonna work out well um, that way it can be a large tower and it should be good and actually I'm gonna have to bevel that more because it's not gonna be it might be round enough maybe I'll have to end up with five on the outside just to make it look like it's not so pointed I guess that's a word pointed <laughs> um, so let's see five and three so I'll have let's see let me get some more of this made I'm just doing the bottom with polished by the way so yeah that is gonna look a little bit too pointed so we'll have to make this into five and then we'll have to come out one more right here uh, let's do that on all sides and that's gonna make it look a little jagged like this and then we're gonna have to shape the outside like we want to so this will be five and seven just like this all right so now we have five seven seven and then the original shape now this is much rounder than the other one I mean much rounder let's uh, let's go up a little bit and look at it it is a still a little bit I think I'm gonna have to come out one on each of the um, the little corners right here so right here I think I'm gonna have to do I don't know it almost looks too square if that makes any sense I could probably come out by one here 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 and here and do that on all sides or did I already do that <laughs> I don't know this shape is kind of hard to imagine okay here here oh here here and here and then I'll do it I think I already did it on this one this would be five this would be five yeah I think I'd already did it on this one okay is this is this a real shape now it still looks a little bit diamondy but I think it will do so it is gonna be girthier than that all right so we're gonna take the outside up um, probably I don't know I, I'm gonna have to measure this out here let's see we're gonna have to take the outside up to the entire height of this and we're gonna have to divide that by three, so to speak. So I'm gonna measure this out, you guys, and kind of get a wall going, fill in this floor, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so from the bottom, 
to where I'm at now is like 52 because the entire height of this from where I was standing down there to this platform is like 104 or something like that 103 it's close to 103 tall so what I'm having to do is I'm kind of bracing out where I want the um, I guess the polish to go versus the regular because this is actually kind of cool this is almost like a diamond shape and when I get down to it it won't be as round <clears throat> excuse me it won't be as round like it's gonna be it's gonna be a good support look it'll it'll kind of show some some difference because if it was just round and it was one block different when you would get to this height it would look probably it wouldn't have as much detail from somewhere far away like hermit thrills so i think that the diamond is actually going to benefit as well the bad thing is the only way i'll actually know is by doing it uh but we can always shape it differently a little bit you know add a block here or take away a block there even though it's a hundred high <laughs> it'll take some work but i think i'm gonna be satisfied with this shape so i need to do another two right here another two right here and another two right here just that way and then i'll start working in the regular die right not the polished die right um and i also want to do some stuff with nether brick too like some nether brick columns and i know i have quite a bit of nether brick but i don't know how much i have so it's going to be pretty interesting but the ride down is actually pretty easy all you do is take the little water stream <laughs> and then when you get to a spot that you're comfortable with you could just jump down and start doing that again um naturally i've been doing this the, the, the best way I know how, and that is just two at a time, because it, it's, it's really a pain in the butt, <laughs> like it is. So I come up to about right here, and I marked it with dirt, that way I can tell and, um, and get the bridging down. So I basically just hit the pillars like this all the way until I get to the level I want, and I'll take the water drop down, and then I'll have the supports built. So naturally this is going to take me a little while this was supposed to be a short episode so <laughs> i guess i'm going to turn it kind of into a talky episode not normally i don't do this but i am in a little bit of a crunch uh for time today uh sumu was just telling me that uh he was in a little bit of crunch for time too and they built a battleship game and i thought that would be really really fun to play but unfortunately i did not have time for it today um let's see what else is going on so the bill pack just released that's some really really good stuff i was playing around with it last night and i actually did a small unannounced live stream on twitch um and I, I forgot how bad that i was about remembering like twitch is not like riding a bike like there's a bunch of stuff you don't know and that's one of the reasons that i didn't um did he steal something no i was about to say um that's one of the reasons why you know you either do it or you don't and it's i don't know i was kind of frustrated because i didn't have my follow alert set up anymore i didn't have my donator alert set up anymore so if anybody would have sent a donation or followed the stream uh, i wouldn't have had it and that was one of the reasons that i did not um use do i have oh yeah i did have fish that was one of the reasons that i did not upload a video to announce it because i really didn't want anybody to get the wrong impression naturally you know i, I wanted to stream because i was just playing around on build pack i did i was going to start like an episode for a house that i was doing and i'm still going to release it um but getting the structure to that is a little bit different because when i looked at the I guess where I was at for that specific build, I'm doing like a, a family home, okay? It's like a three bedroom, four bedroom, something like that, a couple of baths or a few bathrooms and an office and a living room and a kitchen. Well, I started laying it out and I got the general structure done and then I went on to do like the, um, the one of the rooms and y'all, like when I looked into the footage, I had like... 50 minutes of footage and i didn't even have the um the, the the interior of the bedroom done so i mean i can't make a house like 20 parts can i <laughs> people would lose interest at that point I, I, well not really i would think i guess people well it's a creative series though so i don't know maybe i'm just not good enough at talking to keep <laughs> to, to to consider what that interest is and look i done went too far up see it's so hard to build and talk at the same time too uh at least not without like building a little bit and then stopping for a little bit okay let's see this is a good waste a good way to waste diorite as well 
Let's see, I am pretty darn close at this point. I think two more down, I'm gonna be on that level. Let's grab some dirt and go to... Am I on the same level? I, I believe I am. I do believe I am. Um, that's it. Yes, that's perfect. Very, very good. I think I might extend that a little bit right here just to tell wherever I'm at. Uh, let's see. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it goes to a T. We'll do that. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it goes to a T. I think that's good. I think that'll be easy to mark. Very easy to mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it goes to a T. Yes, perfect. So let's see how much diorite I have. While I'm this high up, I might as well just take the water stream to go get the rest of my diorite because I am very, very low on diorite, not in my chest. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't have nearly enough to finish this project. I'm definitely going to have to go mining, um, but I think this is good. Um, at least it's given me a good start. So, yeah, hopefully... Oh, I do want to check out, Asuma said that he he rebuilt uh, Lily Drop. do want to check that out from this far. I'm not going to go up close and look at it, but I want to see it from here. Let's see, I'll change my render distance. Render distance is in video settings. Let me change it to 19 just for the moment. Oh, he's got some red in there. Oh, it looks like a flower. Neat. Very neat. I think that's a flower. I don't want to go up and look at it too good. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. Okay. That was one of the reasons I have my, um, my, my chunk distance so low too. Is so that I don't spoil anything. All right. I'm really loving the bridge, and I really love the fact that you guys gave such positive feedback on it. I do love the bridge. A bunch of you were saying like to put um, like the uh, quartz slab on top of this, and I kind of like the way the diorite block looks. I'm not going to lie. It kind of breaks it up. People are always accusing me of not using enough color or texture, so I think um, mixing it up like that. Plus, it's a lot cheaper. Quartz is expensive, man. <laughs> So yeah, I uh, I had a lot of fun in UHC recently too. Uh, for those of you that haven't checked that out, I got paired up with Slipgator. And um, I'm loving the comments for that too, you guys. Slipgator and I, we've been friends for a long time. So it's very easy for us to just like go off on tangents and talk freely amongst each other. Uh, it's really, really good. Let me put some of this junk up. Uh, I do want to keep... I don't think I'm going to use my nether brick yet, although I might. I know I won't need my stairs, but I'll probably, let's put, uh, let's just give me all the stacks like this. I'll leave some just in case I have repairs and maintenance to do. Okay, and I won't need many of the sea lanterns right now, so I'll put those up as well, along with these crystals. I won't need any quartz right now. I know I'm kind of disorganized in the way I put stuff away, but okay. All of the quartz is up and I need still need dirt for scaffolding, but I think I'm not asking too much with this. I'll take in the pearls. I don't need the stone slabs anymore. Uh, wrong one. Stone slabs. And I think I'm pretty good with the rest. The water buckets, I could probably put away one and carry the rest with diorite and that should do me good just fine all right and uh yeah actually all i'll probably need is one stack of dirt and i don't need my crafting bench anymore well i'll take my crafting bench just in case and this is my fortune i definitely don't need that i'll put that away with my tools and i don't need my silk touch either yet and i don't need my banner but my banner, I need to keep that in a, a good place because I, I want to be able to copy it without tearing stuff up. That's like my junk chest. I know. I'm not supposed to have one of those. I'm supposed to stay organized. But sometimes it takes too long to put stuff up. Okay. I digress. Let me get some more diorite. And actually, I'm going to put up away a couple of stacks of this. Because I know I won't need that much right offhand. Okay. I got plenty now. 
let's get some um, let's get some dye right. So I definitely want to bring all of the regular. There we go. I got polished, and this should be good. Sweet. All right. So now I'm going to head outside and do the same thing over again. I'm going to build up some scaffolding. But like I was saying about UHC, I think it went really, really well. At least the first video, what you guys have watched. I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, Slipped and I just kind of carried on and we kind of just played the game. And now that y'all know the twist, which is uh, gaining achievements for buffs, I got to say, you guys, it went. That was the most fun I've ever had in UHC before. You know, like the, the time that I played was absolutely excellent. I really, really enjoyed it. It was like a mini game within UHC. It took a bunch of the stress off and it added this dynamic that just, you know, there was so many different things to focus on. You can just take your time and do stuff like, um, you know, try to breed cows or whatever. So it was like so less serious, you know, everybody was just I think everybody enjoyed the heck out of it and we had some guests I had my good friend on Drax and Ruby and it was really really nice to see uh, Doc M too Drax did a little like um, a little kind of like a montage or a, a machinima of him getting prepared for the UHC after I gave him the invite and that was really really entertaining to see uh, he kind of tested his editing skills and it came out really really good I'm happy about that um, Ruby had a lot of fun playing the UHC. This is his second one that he's joined us in. Um, so naturally, it was great to have him along. And Doc M showed up. And Doc M, he is always fun to have around. Doc is like, he's one of these guys that I've looked up to for a long time. When I um, when I first started YouTube, I remember getting in touch with a, a fan named Eakin Stan. She watched one of my videos, The Cobblestone Chronicles. Well, one of my series, The Cobblestone Chronicles. That was like my first real YouTube series. I had Let's Play Minecraft with Suljin, and that was my first, but like my editing was off and I really didn't know how to talk to you guys yet, like at all. Um, I would stutter and I kept saying, um, 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 like every five words. Well, after a little while, I renamed the series. I did some, I, I learned how to edit a little bit better and I renamed it The Cobblestone Chronicles because I knew I needed some sort of uniqueness to ever get noticed. Because Let's Play Minecraft with Zul'jin was just, I wasn't even a search term back then. <laughs> yeah, I've graduated since then. Yay, I'm a search term. <laughs> XP and I were talking about that the other day. But no, serious, in all seriousness, I needed, I needed a little bit of uniqueness to the name. So I decided to go with um, the Cobblestone Chronicles because that was mostly at the time that's what people would build with. Um, so a lot of the series that I watched um, early on had to do with, you know, everybody used cobblestone like Co and uh, stuff like that. Like cobblestone was a very regular material to use. So anyway, I called it the Cobblestone Chronicles and I did like cobblestone at the time. I was using like the Painterly pack and it was, it was kind of pretty in that pack. So I ended up using that. And I ended up um, getting in touch with Eakin Stan, and she was such a great supporter of the channel at that time. I ended up naming a bridge after her, and this was before I even knew it was a she. <laughs> so anyway, Eakin and I, we talk on a regular basis now. We're still like real good friends, and um, we talk a little bit less now. I guess she's scared to bother me or whatever, but Eakin, if you're watching this video, you can always message me. <laughs> always, always, always. Never be afraid to message me. Okay, so uh, let's see. I measured this wrong, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Now we can take this out and this out, and I can go to the other side and kind of do the same thing. So yeah, anyway, I named the bridge after Eakin, and um, after it was all said and done, um, she messaged, I think she recommended me for the Dear Doc show. Doc had a series at the time called Dear Doc, where he would kind of talk about his channel and talk about some Minecraft news um, and maybe make some references to uh, some channels that he thought were up and coming and, and good channels to watch. And he did, he featured me in one of his episodes and 
you know, Eakin had talked about it before, like, you, I need to get you featured on Doc M's show, you know, and I was like, yeah, whatever, I, I you know, I was, I, not that I'm, I think I'm any better now, but I, I really, really think back then I had a lot of areas for uh, opportunity, a lot of opportunity for improvement, because I was not, I was not really good, you know, I was decent at playing Minecraft, but my videos were kind of subpar, um, they were a lot like what you see now, except with worse sound quality <laughs> and worse video editing and they were too dark all the time which is probably kind of dark now I hope you guys can see okay um, but I didn't I really didn't know how to address you guys like it was almost like meeting a stranger for the first time every time you know it was like awkward and um, the, the one thing that was different now than it was back then is that I was much less worried about what you guys thought and I don't think that's a good thing like I mean, I wanted everybody to like my stuff, but I didn't think about it the way I like it now. And assuming I were talking about this a while back, and it's really, really interesting. You know, when, when I play other games, I kind of like have a first-hand experience of what they're like when I start playing them. And that's one of the reasons why I do first impression videos. And once I have that, I just kind of go with it. And that's the commentary style that it falls within. So when you do a game that you've never done before, it's almost like you hit record and just let your personality kind of come out. And with Minecraft, it's a little bit different because it's a creative type series where you do, there's, it's open-ended, you know, you play the game how you wanna play the game, and it's not necessarily, there's no storyline to follow or anything like that. You kind of make what you want of it as you go. And what's, what's weird about that is you end up trying to structure episodes. Like today was one of the examples what I usually don't do. And that's I'm going to work on the tower and talk to people. <laughs> that's typically not my format. Let me add a little bit of light here. Oh, I took my light away. This might be very, very bad. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go up and get some more torches or something so I can light this up so I don't get spawns. And I'll be right back. All right, where was I? I stepped away from the keyboard for a little while because my wife brought me pancakes. <laughs> but yeah, um, I need to put a few torches down here so it's uh, so we don't get any spawns here when it turns night because that is some scary stuff. Um, that'll probably work. We could do one right there as well. One right here. One right here. Uh, I think that's good. That should keep everything lit. Well, let me do this. There we go. All right, and I just lost the torch. <laughs> anyway, we should be fine now. Let's see. Are these all of the uh, the pillars? Yeah, okay. So let's add some nether brick to the mix now. I think we could probably figure out some sort of patterning that would be good. I'm going to take a little chance and speed this up. There we go. And let's see. The nether brick I'm thinking could be... Maybe we could do... Let's see, we have five points here or do we have five points no we have six points so we could probably do like nether brick here and here wait we got two and two and two I think we could probably do nether brick just here that would probably be pretty good and then we can do regular diorite here and here and we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do for the middle, but this will work for now. And we'll, we'll, I'll, you know what? I'm gonna get one corner completed, and then I'll look at it to see kind of how it looks, and um, and at least I'll have some sort of pattern to show you guys <laughs> for the episode. Uh, like I was saying about episode structuring, that's, I, I guess that's what my my issue is. Not, I don't have an issue with it. Like I kind of like the way it works, but setting out to do an episode is like. You know, it's it's what do I want to accomplish in this? And I have a goal and I need to structure my footage to where it it kind of makes sense, chronologically makes sense. It tells a story about the start of my project based on how I'm going to do it, my methods without being so bored. And then it comes to fruition. My idea comes to a, a head and it shows itself in in a magnificent wow factor <laughs> that's what I'm going for at least um, and it doesn't work like that all the time but that's what that's what I think that's what we try to do as minecrafters and that can be relatively difficult at times okay so now that I got this let's do I guess regular diorite on the inside 
Um, we're going to need to use a little bit of dirt to get back to where we want to go. All right. Actually, let's just let's work it on the inside right here. There we go. Now I can now I can pass and go back down. So yeah, it and it's it's getting to that point sometimes is relatively difficult. Like if you have a time crunch, you know, as as a source of income, um, YouTube tends to be something that you kind of give yourself a criteria. And it, it, it you know, it's sometimes most of the time it's not necessarily a um, it's not necessarily a pain or a labor or a chore. It's something that you look forward to, you know, like I love making daily videos. What I don't like about the process sometimes is that the same thing that a job does. And if you feel you feel pressure to get something done and you feel like by doing it um, and not doing it the normal practice, the way that you're used to or whatever your training tells you to do, so to speak, you don't get that perfect, perfect thing you don't get that perfect episode you don't get that perfect job done uh, or you don't get that perfect result and in the back of your mind you're always worried about what people are gonna think so if I built this today on camera like I'm doing now and I go down to where hermit thrills is and I look up at it and I think it looks terrible I just wasted an entire recording session worth of, of commentary for a project that I don't even feel comfortable about showing. The other day that actually happened in Modded, I spent time working on a project that I really, really wanted to, to do and only to find out that the project didn't even have um, didn't even have any weight like it was it was bad like it did not work <laughs> like the finished result was a failure and I thought the episode structure was really really good so um, it's kind of terrible and I salvaged some of it but I totally shifted gears and that's something that you guys will never see as as viewers you know you'll never see that failed project because it wasn't fail like funny like watching a fail video it was watching a video and saying wow this is pretty cool and and seeing like a plot to a story and then having a bad ending it's like it's like a love story that you expect them to come on you know walk away from you know feeling all touched and moved and and then having like the main character die you know those movies that they they just end like that and you're so disappointed when you leave them like the movie structure was good and it's it's not that you you can't take that away from it but what you end up the only thing you remember is is the bad part it's 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 like going to a restaurant and having a great appetizer and um great drinks and everything is reasonably priced and the service was excellent and then getting one of your favorite items like a steak from any other restaurant you'd ever order it from and getting it here and it just being terrible and then like the whole meal goes downhill and tip and then you know, you, you probably ask the manager because it, it just didn't come out right. And then the manager says something to make you mad. And it's like the whole thing goes downhill. So anytime somebody asks you about that restaurant, you're like, that place is terrible. Even though the appetizer and the service and everything else was great. The ambience, the music, the guy playing the violin in the corner, the fish tank with the cool fish that you were looking at while you were eating your delicious appetizer and, and the dessert menu. Like, who can screw up cheesecake, you know? But you didn't even get that far because the entree is so disappointing that you really can't you really can't fathom to do anything else with it um except complain okay so we've gotten the corner done now i think the last part is just getting what we want this side done or what we want this side to be and i'm kind of thinking i'm gonna have to work on a pattern for this because I want it, I don't want it just straight up and down like the entire length of it to be nether brick or diorite. So what I'm going to do here is, this is going to be the end of the episode, by the way, you guys. I know it's like, I know it's such a ridiculous episode format. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Let's go look at it and we'll see where I land. Yeah, this looks good. And yeah, I think that looks it looks like a diamond, but it looks round all at the same time. I think I'm very, very happy with that shape and the way that the tower stretches up. So the next level in is going to be like, imagine one block less. So it's going to be a smaller circle and it's going to end up going to hit 
there and then that that and then that platform that you see there is actually going to be that size and it's going to go up from there and it's going to finally come out to a point and then right here you guys it's going to have to be something bigger but i'm thinking about doing a base of some sort like not necessarily just a bigger circle or something like that although that could that could be good i was thinking that it was closer to the ground than that but I'll definitely have to increase the, the the width. So anyway, guys, that is going to be it for the episode. I hope y'all really enjoyed it. I hope y'all didn't mind me rambling too much. Next time we come back, hopefully I'll have some progress done on the tower for you guys. And uh, y'all make sure to let me know in the comments what y'all thought about this type of episode. Because honestly, I feel good <laughs> about everything that I said. And, um, and talking to you guys like that on a regular level. I know I can't do it every time like this. I love those episode structures where I, it tells a story, like I said. But um, as far as that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and as always this is Ulrich signing off and we'll see you next time bye